So this, these problems will all be like real life problems. The difference is between these problems and the problems we did before. The problems we did before were like, um, Lexi is two years older than Aaron. John is three years younger than Aaron. Rayona is twice Aaron's age. We always were comparing to one, one thing, right? Or I said, um, one number is two, two times the other number, okay? We're not comparing two things anymore. We have different things, okay? So it'll be like um, buying baseballs and soccer balls, two different things. Uh, cheese pizza and mushroom pizza. Okay, so two different things, not one compared to the other. All right, so now that we have two different things, we're going to have to have two let statements, okay, or two variables. They're either going to be substitution or elimination. They will mostly be elimination, okay. You have to be able to pick up an elimination problem. Elimination problems look something like this. You don't have to write it down, just look up here. Right, where the X's are stacked and the Y's are stacked and you've got to eliminate an X or a Y, right? Substitution ones look like this, where one of them is X equal or Y equal. And you circle one and you plug it in just like we went over on the homework, okay? So they're either going to be substitution or elimination. Most of them are elimination method, okay? Now, for the kids who weren't here last class, do you guys remember from the, just going over the homework what uh, Ms. Shug taught last year, elimination substitution? You remember that, John? Yeah. And Lexi, you remember it too, huh? Yes? No? Okay. All right. So, again, this says the sum of two numbers. So I'm going to let x equal, oop, that's a y. Let x equal one number and y equal the other number. Okay, I always box in my let statements. Now, it says the sum of these numbers is 43. That's easy, right? Their difference is 19. There's my two equations. X plus Y is 43. X minus Y equals 19. Okay. So now, of course, this is elimination, right? Everybody knows elimination now. This cancels out. On that bingo game last class, a lot of you struggled with this one because you looked at that x plus x. What's x plus x? 2x. Two two x. Good. And then you add these together. 9 plus 3 is 12. 4, 5, 62. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 31. We have to find the other number. Okay. So now I'm going to take that answer, right, Lexi? Take this answer, and I'm going to put a check mark next to this one. Remember, Mrs. Lorenzo always likes to pick the one that has no negatives in it, right? And I'm going to plug the 31 in for the letter X there. So 31 plus Y equals 43. And then simply minus 31 from both sides, and you get Y equals 12. So you have to say the numbers are 12 and 31. That was an easy problem. Does everyone understand how we did that? Set up two variables, two equations. Again, how you know it's like, unlike the ones we did already, because we're not comparing them to each other. We're not saying one is four times the other. Okay, that's why we have to make them two different letters, not the same letter. All right, now this word total gets kids into a lot of trouble because they, it's a whole equation, that word total, okay? So we're going to do let statements on one side. We're going to box in our let statements. And I'm going to make another box over here. Make this one a little smaller. Oh, okay. All right. 
So it says we have potatoes and corn, right? Three bags of potato and four cases of corn cost $40. So I'm going to let P equal potatoes. bags of potatoes. And I'm going to let C equal cases of corn. We want the cost of them. So our answer is going to be a money answer. So P equal potatoes, C equals corn. Then we're going to do our equations next to it. Three bags of potatoes, so 3P plus four cases of corn, 4C, cost $40. The next one, five bags of potatoes and two cases of corn cost $34. We want to find the cost of one bag of potatoes and one case of corn. Okay. So if you wanted to get rid of the peas, you could multiply the top by a 5 and the bottom by a negative 3. But I can change this 2 to match that 4. How do I change it? What do I multiply it by? Negative 2. If I multiply all that by negative 2, it will change that positive 2C to a negative 2C. Okay, so let's rewrite the first one. 3P plus 4C equals 40. Multiply the bottom by a negative 2. Negative 10P minus 4C equals negative 68. What happens to the C's now? They cancel. What's the word I like to use? It begins with an E. This is elimination method because I'm eliminating those C's. Now let's do the P's. What's 3P minus 10P? negative 7p. And when I subtract this, I'm going to get a negative 28. Divide both sides by a negative 7. And p equals 4. So does that mean I have four bags of potatoes? What do they want? The total what of one bag of potatoes? The total cost. So I want the cost. So that means the bag of potatoes, one bag of potatoes costs four dollars. If you write four bags of potatoes, they will mark it wrong. Okay. They're looking for the cost of one bag. So now that I have that my potatoes cost four dollars, I go back up here. I'm going to pick this top equation. I put a check mark here. And you got to plug that P equals four in for the letter P here. So three times four plus four C equals 40. 12 plus 4C equals 40. Minus 12 from both sides. I get 4C equals 28. Divide by 4. And the case of corn cost $7. So you have to write that sentence. Let's see if I can find some room here. No, I can't. So you guys will have to write the sentence. Potatoes cost $4 a bag. Corn costs $7 a case. So everybody, any questions on that one? No? Okay, next page. Here, it says the town of rec department ordered a total of 100 baseball. Okay, so now I'm going to make two little boxes again for our let statements. Okay. All right, so our let statements. The Town of Rec Department ordered a total of 100 baseballs and bats for a summer baseball camp. 
Base balls cost 50 cents each and bats cost $20 each. The total purchase was $8.22. How many of each was ordered? So I'm going to let X equal baseballs and Y equal bats. Now, this is the total question I was talking about. We're going to make a little chart here. This is called a money total problem. When you have, when they have money mixed with non-money terms, so if you notice, I've got money here, money here, and money here. But then I have another number there, 100, that doesn't have a money sign next to it. Okay? We're going to talk about that in a second. Let's do the money part of it first. It says baseballs cost $4.50 each. So $4.50, 4.50x. Bats cost $20 each, so that's 20y. And I spent a total of $822. So money plus money equals money. All right. Now, the next one is our total question. I ordered, or they ordered, a total of 100 baseballs and bats. That's an equation there. How do I write down here a total of 100 baseballs and bats? I know 100 is going to be over here. I'll give you that part, right? How do I say baseballs and bats total? Very good, x plus y. So that's your total question. When you have that, so x plus y equals 100. Now, I could do this one elimination, but why don't we do this one substitution just to practice substitution a little bit. What do you think? You think it would be easier to do elimination? Actually, it's easier either way. It turns out to be the same. I could do it both ways if you want. If I want to make this one elimination, I've got to make one of them either x, y, x equals or y equals. I'm going to just minus y from both sides here. And I'm going to get x equals 100 minus y. Now I could do a substitution method. I'm only doing it substitution for this one because most of them are elimination. So I just want to practice another one. So now I'm going to circle what x is equal to, and then I'm going to plug it in all the way up here for the letter x. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. You guys are going to need your calculators to help me out. So it's going to be 4.50, parentheses, 100 minus y. Does everyone see what I did? I took that and substituted in for x, plus 20y equals 822. All right, so 450 times 100 should be 450. 4.50 times negative y is a negative 4.50y plus 20y. Now, you remember our DCV that we did? Distribute, combine, Get the variable. What am I combining in that equation? What is a like that I can combine? The y's. So I'm just going to put this little squiggly line under those y's. I'm combining them. So this is where you're going to need your calculator. So I want someone to do this in your calculator. Minus 450y plus 20y. Tell me what that is. Negative 450 plus 20. No, negative 4.50 plus 20. It's 4.50. Try it again. Fifteen point five y equals eight twenty two. Okay. Now, what am I going to subtract from both sides? What am I going to move over? I want to get the variable by itself, so I'm going to move over my. 450. Bring down your 15.5y. When I subtract, I get 372. Check that for me, John. Do 822 minus 450. Three seventy-two. 
Okay, and then what am I going to divide both sides by? 15.5. Okay, now do this in your calculator. I want everyone to do it, not just John. 372 divided by 15.5. What do you get? What is it? 24? 24? So y equals 24. Y, remember, was our bats. We ordered 24 bats. I out, now I've got to figure out how many baseballs. So I've got to take this and I've got to plug it into one of the equations. It d this one's the easier one right here, right? Now we can do this in our head. Ready? Everybody look up here, Aaron. If I plug 24 in for Y, 24 plus what gives me 100? Can anyone do that in their head? 24 plus what gives me 100? 76. Very good. So X equals 76. So they ordered, sentence, 76 balls and 24 bats. You guys see how I did that in my head, that 76? You could also plug that 24 in and then just subtract 24 from both sides. Okay, so that's money total. You'll have one of those on your um, classwork today. Now this one, even though it has money, there's, there's money throughout the problem. So it's not like... So we're going to have a let statement box. And then we'll have an equation box. All right, our LUT statements. We have two things that we're buying here. We're buying notebooks and flash drives. So I'm going to let F equal flash drives and N equal notebooks. And now I have to do my two equations. Now, this is not money in total because it's all money. I have three flash drives and two notebooks for $15. So three flash drives and two notebooks cost 15 bucks. Steve bought two flash drives and five notebooks and he spent $18.25. I'm sorry, Miles, what? Oh, yeah, sorry, thank you. It should be three flash drives. All right, now, this one's too hard to do substitution method. We could try to make one F equal or N equal, but elimination method is just so much easier on this one. So to eliminate, you could either get rid of the Fs or the Ns. But if we go back to our problem, it says find the cost of one flash drive. Did they ask about the notebook? No. So... The easier thing would be to do to get rid of the ends so that you solve for the Fs. So to eliminate the ends, I would multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by a negative 2. Now, you can put the negative either place. I just chose to put it on the bottom. I want to see if you all can try this one on your own. Go ahead and do it, and then we will go over it. Multiply the top by the bottom by negative 2.
No, it should have been already to the 10th rounded for you. So the answer should have been $3.50. Okay. And that would be your sentence. The flash drive cost $3.50. Now, if you really wanted to find the notebook, you can, but it cannot be in your sentence. What do you think? Is this easy? Yes, yes good. Okay. This one, Mrs. The stop one? Stop. 